Hi everyone, welcome to another webisode of the Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com. Today's topic of conversation is music, and who better than to have a musician, a composer, and a songwriter than Clarita De Quiros? Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. So, Clarita, let's talk about you first. Okay. You are a musician. How many years have you been playing music? I've been playing since I was four years old. I started on piano and then I moved on to percussion when I was 15. Mm -hmm. And I did vocals from the age of 10 years old. When you played music, what did it do to you? What was the feeling? What was the, the energy that, create, that music would create for you? It would make me very emotional because I used to listen to a lot of classical music mm. and that, was, that, that is my background and to this day is my passion. It was, it was like a form of release and uh, inspiration and I could also you know relate to the music as well. What about creativity? Did it did it create an, a feeling that you know you could take on the world that you can do things and also I want to ask you about um, did music allow you to make friends? <laughs> oh well I'll answer the first one so the to create it, it did influence me to create music because you're always inspired and you have your influences from a young age sure. and mine's come from classical to make friends uh, my it made musical friends my, my piano was my friend in school i didn't have many friends okay I had just a couple i would say and i was quite uh, i would say not not too odd but i was very set in, in my own ways and i would spend most of the my break times and lunch times composing music and that's all I really wanted to do. That's all, if I had a spare bit of time, I didn't see the point in going out in the field and kicking a ball or whatever. I just wanted to be with my music creating because I had so much emotion and energy from such a young age and I had to channel it through something and music was my way of doing that. One of the great things about music is it allows you to express yourself and your, create your sense of individuality. Mm -hmm. And from what I'm hearing from you is that you took solace in music, you created your own world, and you released all your energy and your creative juices through music. So we all know the importance of music in our lives, but what about music for the unborn when mothers are pregnant and the child is in the tummy? Does music play a role there? Uh, from my, my view, I would say it would be good for the baby um, because they do all these little baby CDs, these relaxing things. So when you put on this music, when the mother is still like pregnant with baby in the womb, and when they're born again and you play the same music, apparently it has some association and they, they recognize it and it puts them at ease and makes them relax. One of the great myths is that when a baby is inside the mother's tummy, that it's isolated from what's happening on the outside and clearly music tests have shown that that's not true. When you do play music for children, they can hear it, they're more calm, less stressed, and of course if the mother has the same music in her ears, will help her to de-stress as well. Um, let's talk about music and its impact on youth. What do you think music does for uh, adolescents during that phase? It depends on the types of music. If you're going by radio play, I mean, it, it, it makes children happy, it gives them energy. Um, when I was a kid, I, again, would listen to stuff children wouldn't listen to. And for me, when I was studying, I felt having that in the background, it would relax me, it would help me take in information. And when I was in my exams, I could hear the music and it would help me flow with my answers. Here's one of the things that's very common, and now I don't remember, know if you remember this, or I certainly did it, and Clarita obviously did, is that when we would study for exams, we'd have the headphones on, back then it was the Walkman, yeah. and now it's the uh, iPod, or the iPhone, depending on the device that you use, and uh, we'd be in two worlds at the same time. One, we're studying, and two, we're listening to music, and that really calms young people down. And then we talk about music when it comes to adults. What do you think music and the role of music has when, it, when adults listen 
And then uh, obviously as we get older, um, senior citizens. Uh, it's, it depends really, I mean, music is everywhere. It's in film, it's in the malls, it's in the, it, when you're having a massage, you put relaxing music on, so there must be some correlation between the two there. Uh, I think as we get older, we are more, we broaden our t tastes, you know, in our genres, mm -hmm. and we're more, you know, susceptible to, to opening up our minds to listening to different types of music and world music as well, because we travel as well. Yes. Um, so I think every individual is different. I think that's the beauty of music. There's there's something in there for everybody, and it can make people happy, sad, angry, depending on what you're listening to. That's a good point. Music is everywhere, just like color, you know, uh, art, paint, music has the same effect. It's around us. Even if you're in a hospital and there's a, you know, the hospital wards now, the special units play music. And I know that, for example, uh, music therapists are now in hospitals helping to treat children or uh, people with cancer, mm -hmm. and even with senior citizens in retirement homes, uh, now play music for them. Because when we get to older stages and we go into, you know, we develop dementia, uh, illnesses like dementia or Alzheimer's, when we put that music headset on, it takes us back in time. Mm -hmm. We remember all those wonderful memories of our youth, of our growing up, our family, one thing that I particularly like is that music, um, if, if you play a certain music and there's family around you or there's friends around you, mm. that moment in time will be associated with that music. Exactly. Yes. Right? It's true. Have you had this when, moment? When I when listen to a song on the radio, I'm like, oh God, I was in a field doing, I don't know, just chilling, having a picnic or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It does have association. Have you guys <laughs> ever had this feeling when you listen to a music 10, 20, 30 years down the road and that triggers off that memory, that moment that you so adore and uh, you think about that moment and you're like, ah, and that music nice. has created uh, that bridge, that gap. It's fascinating. Let us know if you've got any of those moments yourselves. Please leave them in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear how your type of music is associated with a different experience that you've had. Who is your favorite musician, by the way? Um, I'd say in terms of piano ability, um, one of them, I would say, is Nina Simone. She was a massive influence on me. In terms of composers, I'd say um, Bach. Okay. Yeah. I know you're a big Bach fan. Massive. Well, if you wanted to give a last message to our viewers, what would that be? It would be, if you're not going to play it with passion, don't bother playing it at all. There you go. <laughs> Spoken like a true musician. Uh, thank you, Clarissa, for you being very on much the show. For me. Thanks for everyone for watching this webisode. If you've got any thoughts, comments of your own, please leave them in the comment section down below. You're watching The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle. I know now I've somehow seen my light, seen the light. It doesn't make sense without you.